every summer, New Yorkers flock out of the city and head to the Hamptons. It is a rite of passage, a mecca, if you will, and I'm all about living the American dream and doing what the Americans do. So when my friends wanted to spend a weekend in the Hamptons, I said yes, packed up my work laptop, bikinis and cute outfits, and my social battery for we'd be getting very little sleep when we're together. What I love about my friends is that we all love to travel. We reunite every year for these trips and it's always so beautiful seeing everyone together. We all knew each other through different times of our lives. Some are childhood friends, some from college, and mostly we met through mutual friends, but we all get along so well together. Oh, hello. You're unpacking. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're talking to everything. Great so cute. Oh, I love that we have our own bathroom. And we're generally always on the same page on what we want to do and what we're willing to spend our money on. But also everyone is so hardworking, smart, kind, and the most amazing people ever. For our first two days, some started off the morning with a swim, some a walk around the neighborhood or a coffee before starting the workday. I am not kidding when I say these are the hardest working and smartest people I know. It was so nice to work remotely with my friends as I had been working remotely at home for a few weeks now all alone. The change of scenery was especially welcoming and everyone's energy was so infectious. After working all morning, I got to spend some time outside and went on a lunch run to pick up sandwiches and salads from Villa Italian Specialties. The sandwiches are huge and filling. We ended up having a lot of leftovers, which was great. We finished up the work day and then got ready to go to dinner at the Surf Lodge. Unfortunately, it had been raining all day and it was still raining, so we had a very different experience there. Surf Lodge is a very vibey spot with lots of music and concerts, DJs, so we were contemplating coming back again if we had time this week to see a DJ. itself was okay and I would say the reviews online are quite accurate so I think next time I would just come here for drinks and the music. I'm glad we got to go and check it out even though it was torrential rainpour and we all got so soaked on our way home. Another morning, another day working in the Hamptons. It's really cool learning about what my friends do for work. We've got some attorneys, some consultants, bankers and ex-bankers, some who work in tech, startups, private equity, hospitals, and a business owner as well. We also have Chef Lindsay who cooked and made us brunch this morning. Thank you, Chef. And in the afternoon after work, we all enjoyed the pool, which is the main highlight of the house. There aren't a lot of pools in the city, so we try to use the pool as much as we could.
So during the summer on Friday nights, Wolfer Estate Vineyards hosts live music at the wine stand from 5 to 8 p.m. This was definitely one of our highlights of the week in the Hamptons. There were so many people there laying out on chairs or blankets, drinking wine, eating charcuterie, and soaking up the sun. The vineyard is right there as well, so we took lots of photos and really enjoyed the place. Then for dinner, we went to Moby's and the food was really good. Highly recommend getting a pizza and pasta to share with someone. We contemplated going out afterwards, but ended up going back to the Airbnb and had a dance party, mostly blasting Taylor Swift and staying up way too late. It's the weekend and we got woken up with a pillow fight. It's the weekend and we start off the morning with Carissa's for breakfast. This bakery is so good. We actually end up coming here every morning because it is so delicious. itinerary today included some of us going to the beach and others driving to Montauk to the lighthouse, then all of us meeting up for lunch at Duraya's afterwards. This place is first come first served and they don't take reservations, so we end up getting bottles of wine while we wait for a table. The food is pretty good here and I'd recommend this ginormous lobster salad for $97 and it's huge so we split it between six people. And this is the best calamari ever. I highly recommend getting it. It's probably one of the best I've ever had. We spend the rest of the day at the pool before heading out to dinner. That is, before Alex lost her earrings at the deep end of the pool and had to go scuba dive for them, but luckily she got them back. We had an eventful last night at the Hamptons and headed back into the city the next morning. That's the crew at Carissa's again. But we had one final celebration to hold before wrapping up the weekend. We celebrated Lindsay's upcoming birthday and had dinner before heading back to our own homes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lindsay. Happy birthday. 
Bye, too.